Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. I have a message for Capricorn today. This is um, a message that I have asked for from spirit and from my guides. I've asked them to bring something through the cards that is useful to you and also deeply meaningful as you go through your week on your journey this week. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And I strongly encourage you to subscribe to this channel because it helps keep you in constant, consistent contact every week with information from the other side that is spiritually high vibration that can help you keep moving forward on your path. So, and if you're returning, so great to see you. I value and I really appreciate your presence here today. If anyone is feeling compelled to like or comment, that's also welcome and appreciated. So let's get straight to your reading. This was a reading that was pretty heavy to look through. I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes, and I think you're going to be asked to be the voice of reason this week. Um, the Justice card is our, our second card, and she's just a very strong presence with all this. The reason why I'm I felt a heaviness and a little bit of struggle with these other cards is because there's people are trying to um, show up as something that they're not. And your job is to see things the way they are and to be really objective and fair in your dealings with others. So the energy around you is the four of pentacles. And this is the energy of control, of greed, of holding on. But what it means is that someone is very comfortable with the way things are, probably and possibly financially, and they don't want to let that go. But they're unwilling to look at how this affects other people. They're unwilling to look at how this holding on to things and this keeping everything for themselves, the selfish energy, is really um, impacting those around them. So... You've got someone who's very focused on themselves, right? And the way you feel about it is the um, <laughs> the justice card. My God, my brain right now. So I was distracted because they were also telling me that this energy I was talking to you about is not necessarily someone else. This also might be you that you're holding on to something so tightly that you can't see what's around you. You can't see how it's affecting other people because you feel you're in control. That is comfortable and you don't really consider or want to consider how that's affecting other people. So the justice card is next and the justice card talks about balance, equality and fairness. There's a lot of Egyptian symbology on this card in particular in, in my deck that I'm not really going to go into, but it's asking you to look at things really clearly. Who is in the right? Who is in the wrong? Who has which motive? Who has which intention? And what is the fairest and the most just thing, compromise we can work out? So it's not whistleblowing this is the energy of compromise but it's also being really careful that you're looking at things objectively and that you're not either being swayed by your own control or being um, persuaded by your emotional attachment to someone or something so the advice is really interesting we have another four again the four of cups going into the knight of cups going into the six of pentacles and so i'm getting a really big beware feeling. Someone is coming out looking shinier than they are. They look to be this romantic, idealistic, purity of heart kind of thing. Like I'm doing it for the love or I'm doing it for this. I'm doing it for that. But inside is not that different from this energy. So we've got two fours and what's the same about these two cards is that they both look down. They both look inward. They're not looking out. This one tends to take an emotional components. So they're so far into themselves. They're so far looking with self-pity at themselves that they're not looking out at the world around them. But it's the same idea of holding on to thinking of themselves only being really selfish. But that's what shoots this knight forward. This is the knight of cups here. It's a selfish interest. It may look like it's idealistic. It may look like it has to do with love. It may look like it has to do with passion. It might even look like it has to do with spirituality, 
but it's coming from a place of self-interest and from very narrow self-interest that's not taking into account everyone else. And that's our Six of Pentacles card here coming as a warning that if you let this kind of energy run the show, we're going to be put in a in a compromising position, but not in a good way, where your energy is compromised or your resources are compromised. It's not fair. It's not equal. It's not balanced. So this is a big cautionary, and I feel like in some ways I'm telling two stories at once. None of us want to admit that we're this energy here, but if that is resonating deep within you, understand that that we've got to shift that because when you're taking everything for yourself or when you're trying to control everything for yourself, it just doesn't allow a flow between you and the people that you're in relationship with. It doesn't allow them to show up with their full selves and their full investment in what you're doing because they're leaning on you to take too much. Um, yes, that is the direction they're wanting me to stay with that. I was going to flip it and they were like, no. <laughs> So um, beware of motives, beware of the reason for things being the way they are. Sometimes this kind of relationship where it's unequal give and taking is really attractive because it gives you a stronger measure of control. If you're holding the purse strings, you can be assured that those people will be dependent on you. If you're doing more than your fair share at work, you're kind of making, ensuring the fact that you're indispensable because everyone's leaning on you. But the problem is, is that it is going to tear, it's going to wear on you eventually. It's going to kind of weigh you down, but it also prevents the other people from growing and showing up in their own jobs and fulfilling their own potential and getting done what they have to do. So you might think that they or you are doing something out of love or out of a good intention, but actually there's a lot of self-interest going on in your world right now. So it's... I just kind of feel like I'm wading through the mud with all of this because it's it's coming at me from all angles. It's not just others, it's also you. And I, I know I started this reading with separation, but the more I get into it, the more it just feels like it's everyone involved in this situation is the same energy. And we're calling on this card. Justice is also associated with Libra, but it's fairness. It's objectively looking at things. It's not needing to have things be uneven. So, well, I guess we are gonna get into symbology. So she's holding a white feather. And this is the goddess Mayat, which is an Egyptian goddess. And her function at the end of your life, she takes your heart and she weighs it in her scales against a white feather. And if you've sinned too much or you've led a corrupt life, you have a heavy heart and the scales will tip. And then the crocodile god gets to eat you and your soul. So that's all very lovely, right? But it's talking about keeping your heart pure and light. And when the heart is pure, when there's no strings attached between you and other people, then you're doing things out of unconditional love. And you're doing things on the correct side of love, on the correct side of growth, and on the correct side of interaction. So this is asking you to look at all those places where the strings are attached, work, at home, personal relationships, relationships with your kids or your dependents. <laughs> They're saying even your pets. And that's interesting because pets are unconditional love. They are the purest expression of unconditional love I think that we can ever experience on this earth because they're so pure. So really look at the way you interact with that, with your unconditional love source. And if you find that you're not also reciprocating unconditional love, if you're only offering love when they're good or bad or whatever, probably when they're good, right? If they're if you're only offering love when they are this way, um, then that's something to really consider. It's not saying you can't discipline your dog or your cat or your pet, but you love them anyway in the midst of disciplining them, in the midst of getting them to follow the, the your rules, you're still not withholding love. So... If you've got questions about that, please reach out. You are also invited to check out my website, True Guidance Tarot. There's a lot of really amazing and helpful offerings for spiritual seekers just like yourself. And I'd love for you to take part in that. So I will look forward to seeing you next week and have a good one.